Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, we are celebrating a birthday. The day you were born, there was never a child ever at five hours old that had ever been photographed as much as you had. That's true. My brother's only child, and I might say my favorite niece, Kayla Dobbs. Now, Kayla, what birthday is it? It's my 20th. Wow, 20 years old. You're in college. I am. I just finished my second year. And when you graduated from high school, you spent a couple of years learning to cook with Miss Lydia Waters, didn't you? I did, you? and she taught me my favorite recipe, cream cheese squares, which we're making today. I let you choose the recipe, and I'm happy you chose a simple, simple one, guys. The ingredients are, Kayla, tell us about it. We're going to use one box of yellow cake mix, one stick of melted butter, three eggs, a box of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, and one cream cheese bar. What is that called? It's Philadelphia cream cheese. Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, you use the regular, not light, right? I yeah. use whipped in a lot of recipes, but this, no. this calls for the regular eight-ounce mm -hmm. bar. Okay. You do not want to feed this to your diabetic husband. No, no. <laughs> Aunt Sherry, I promised you a simple recipe, and this is so simple. And this quick and easy recipe, we have two layers, mm -hmm. both very quick. On the first layer, you just mix a box of yellow cake mix, mm -hmm. one egg, and a stick of butter or margarine, whichever you prefer at your house. And Aunt Tempe would have? Three boxes of sugar. <laughs> no, I mean, butter. Butter. Aunt butter. Tempe would use butter. 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 That's yeah. right. And then you just mix that with your mixer on medium. Mm -hmm. And you just pat it down with your hands in the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan. Okay. This pan's a little larger than really? the, one the recipe is for, because Sherry didn't have a 9 by 13. And then, for the next layer, you mix two eggs, one box of Philadelphia cream cheese, do not buy the light stuff, a box of powdered sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And right. you mix that together on medium and just pour it on top. Oh, my goodness. I know why you like this. It's sweet and it's rich. It is. Since it's your birthday, I'll make your birthday cake. Okay. Okay. 20 years old, your life is ahead of you. Oh, my. Wow, you've been our little princess for a long time, little lady. And we have enjoyed every minute of you. You have been pure pleasure had some great food in 20 years. Yes, we've done a lot of cooking together, haven't we? We have. Nanny Betty's a good cook, and we love to cook with her. Your mom is a great cook. She is. They both are. Now we're going to put it in the oven and bake it at 350 for 20 to 30 minutes, and you just do the toothpick test to determine how done it is. Oh, good. Great. Can't wait. Kayla, it smells great. It smells great. It smells great. Thank you for sharing your birthday with me. Thank you. Thank you for sharing this recipe. And we're going to tell the folks at home, we're going to share this with somebody special, aren't we? We are. We're going to share this with the volunteer fire department in the Hinton community for all that they do. That's right. Those guys work hard. And they, they are all volunteers. And tonight, Kayla had told me she was going to make them a dessert. And I said, come and do Heart of the Home with me, and we'll take it to them. So we're going to take them this and another cake we made. And we do want to say thank you to the Hinton Volunteer Fire Department and all the other volunteer fire departments. And we want to say congratulations to the 2007 graduates, including yes. my grandson and your cousin, Michael Hancock. Congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. Way to go. Way to go. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Love you. Bye-bye.